Let's first start with the U.S. So could a third shot be the answer to stopping this latent outbreak, or is it more just about not enough people being vaccinated with the first two to begin with? Actually, right now, there's a lot of debates on the third shot. It's not only just the medical community is seeking more data to, to find out whether there's need for the third shot to be administered to fully vaccinated people as of now. There's also this discussion about vaccine equity when like uh, some parts of the world, like Africa, uh, is only 3% covered uh, of its population by vaccines. Uh, the advanced economies are already 55% covered, according to our data, and just seeing that, like when uh, we are uh, administering more vaccines to advanced economies, is it going to risk uh, more outbreaks in the developing world and more variants potentially coming up? So that's another side of the discussion uh, where WHO came out to criticize as well what the U.S. is planning to do. So with these two debates going on, then really right now the question is how can the country uh, really vaccinate the rest of the population that are now the vaccine rate hitting a wall? So with the right rising cases and rising hospitalization and also rising death in the U.S. That's something uh, the policymakers really are trying to do uh, with this uh, review coming up, uh, like already already delayed for a week uh, to to discuss the use of booster shots among CDC advisors. It does seem like one of the at least hopeful spots in the U.S. is comparing it to the U.K. where you had a peak in the Delta virus cases. I know that there's some hope that that peak is occurring in the U.S., but I'm wondering how that relates to the Asia-Pacific region, because you have Japan and Australia seeming to be hot spots. Does it seem like that could be at a peak as well, or does it seem like there's risk for it to spread further? Yeah, so at least right now in the U.S., the cases are although rising, but not reaching the record level. But for Japan, the cases are the highest in history, like, and more than 10 times more than uh, it was a month ago. So that's really spiraling out of control. And Australia as well has always adopted this COVID-0 strategy, trying to keep the virus out of its borders. But now with the lockdown extending in Sydney, it really challenged that strategy, as well as the neighboring New Zealand. So this Asia issue is more like they've all performed very well in the first year of COVID. And right now, how can they continue their success? And with the less uh, immunity mm. obtained from uh, uh, infections a year ago, how can they actually raise up their vaccination to fend off the variants? 